Hello everybody, this is Theron. Welcome to Minecraft LAN Party. And again, this looks like the Minecraft LAN Party server, but in fact, it's the test server and we're testing 1.13. Uh, sorry for any background noises, it's a little bit, the neighborhood's a little bit crazy tonight for some reason, no particularly good reason. Um, just people seem to be deciding that, hey, they can shoot off all their leftover 4th of July fireworks and annoy the dogs. Oh, that was interesting. Uh, sound sound engine issues aside, the 1.13 situation is looking up. So with uh, updated, uh, up, restoring from 1.12 spigot and opening up 1.13 spigot, everything looks cool. And um, yeah, so all the trunks are still here. Let's go check out the spawn area. So look at this, the spawn island is here, all of it. And let's look over there. Game mode, creative. And let's give myself night vision. Bang splat, night. Uh-oh, night, uh-oh. No, 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 no. Effect, give. Banks plan night vision for what a long time. Look at this, everything looks okay. It all looks normal. And look, there's dolphins down here. And fishies. Hi, are you gonna swim around? Yeah, look at you. Nice. So, um so this is looking good. And although I suspected it was a uh, spigot development snapshot issue uh, I'm now thinking it was probably my mistake um, I did the I did not before I restored the the world uh, this world onto the server and I had like a goofy version of it there I didn't shut down the server which is kind of a kind of a problem so when it got it was probably fighting with the the old chunks and and sort of regenerating some of them okay i probably ask this every time i look at this in with night vision but what is going on here gravel on top of dirt on top of sand is there something down here no i mean there's stuff but not uh, nothing unusual. That's weird. Oh look, one of my minds. Anyway, so this is this is looking promising. Um, I'm I'm much more hopeful that we'll be able to update the server. Uh, one of the problems is that the spigot people are saying that the current development versions are fine for servers. It's stable if you want to start a new world. And, <clears throat> but not, it's not safe for updating worlds. Um, however, I've done pretty extensive uh, sort of exploring in this, in this world, these, this sort of on, on the test server here. And uh, I've invited, oh, hello. Huh, that's, interesting do i have a dark spot here yeah i have a dark spot right here okay that's good to know i will have to fix that in the re in, on the actual server or oh, you're not going to become drowned are you that would be kind of cool if more mobs became drowned than just zombies anyway so it sounds like the uh the Spigot people are not super thrilled with performance when updating 1.12.2 worlds and that they recommend that you not do that with 
the development versions of Spiga 1.13. And they're running across, I think, some vanilla bugs that are causing some issues. And not the least of which I think were some of the ones that we saw. So um, now the, the nice thing is, oh, let's go this way. So the nice thing is that uh, um, the, in my estimation, it seemed like 1.13 was rushed a little bit and they're already releasing snapshots for 1.13.1. So I think we're going to get a 1.13.1 fairly soon um, can I just say clear and have it ah bang spot there we go um, so I have a feeling we're gonna see a 1.13.1 and my and I'm, I'm guessing and I might be wrong about this but oh hi llama um, but perhaps they are oh that's right this is old Somebody left some garbage in my mailbox for me. Okay, fine. So I'm wondering if, I think that's the better way to put it, the spigot folks are thinking that things will get better with 1.13.1 because they're fixing a lot of bugs that should never really have made it into the 1.13 release. So, so maybe when 1.13.1 comes out, then Spiga will update sort of officially and it'll make it easier. So that's uh, that's what I'm hoping. I am going to be going on vacation next week. I'll be releasing this probably on Monday. That's the plan. And if the and I'm going to be gone for a week, so I may not release something the following week. And if 1.13 the sort of the spigot release comes out uh, next week. Let's see if I can get airborne here. Come on. Come on. Whoa, whoa. Wow. Um. Oh, you know what? I'm freaking creative mode. I don't need to fly around with uh, fireworks. Uh, so if 1.13 comes out while I'm out, I'm definitely going to want to do some significant testing with it before I do the update so I will be <clears throat> in all likelihood well, he's got a lot of iron golems in the farm here interesting uh, so it'll probably be a couple weeks before at the very least before updating which everyone's like anxious for the update I am too uh, one thing that we did when we were initially testing it was to come out here over to the cove because we want fishies in the water out here and it came out and was not just we're not seeing fish swimming around but look we got fish in the cove everything's fine uh the dolphins that's fine turtles are going to be an interesting challenge so we're gonna have to go on turtle expedition and that would be one of the first things we do i think to come up with a <clears throat> uh, come up with some turtle eggs so we can bring them back here and start making some turtle farms or a turtle farm like that that could be turtle island that would actually work pretty well i think it's all sand this is a beach biome uh this is um where's the Ah, uh, biome. I should... Uh, desert. No, we're in desert biome. Oh, this is beach over here. So we could make this like a little turtle breeding area over here. And... Yeah, this is all beach. Or we could, ex we could extend some of this. Like this... That looks like an arrow of torches. What is this way? Somebody's leaving a return marker for themselves interesting anyway hey guys so we'll we'll uh keep an eye on things i should come over and light up this area this is this is dangerous but that's uh that's a fine we will we'll get updated sooner or later um and i just want to make sure that it's safe to do so because i don't want to have to go through the hassle of rolling stuff back oh 
Oh, there's a village over here. Yeah. Alright, this is a village. <clears throat> does the village info plug-in work? Yes, it does. Okay. Cool. That's very exciting. That's really the one plug-in that we're running. Everything else will be functions. And I have the updated versions of like the single player sleep system and the mob heads. So we can we can put that together and get that up and running. Again, I'll be wanting to do that prior to opening up the server for everyone, but we'll figure it out. So there we go. That's the 1.13 update. Um, I have some footage of me on the server out uh, doing some work, I think, on the on the slime farm in, in the Giza pyramid. So let's go back over there. Let's actually go over to switch back to 1.12, go over to the server, and give you a little update on that situation. All right, be back in a moment. Ooh, let's fix this slime farm. Hello. you? Whoa. And there's a little slime right here. It needs to be dead, killed. Oh, interesting. So this level is, is a level too low. And uh, let me get rid of that. Oop. Okay. And actually, we can grab that too, can't we? Yeah. Come on, get it. Uh, uh, all right. Let's eat. I probably won't even get hurt by these things. So I brought down a bunch of stuff to help fix this level. Boop. And so let's get on it. Oh, that'll make it easier to work. So. Okay. So that should get me most of what I need. I need to put in some hoppers on top of these. Okay, and then, oh, I forgot something kind of important. I forgot something kind of really important. Um, I forgot ice. Hmm. Okay. Let me lay out some torches here. <laughs> yeah, let me go get some ice because we don't need stuff spawning down here. And I need to make sure I can actually get out. Let's try this. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wow, ow, 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 ow. Okay. I'll be right back. Yay, shulker box. Uh, ender, ender chest to the rescue. I have a bunch of ice right here. That's all I need. Okay, let's... Uh, we're going to end a pearl down there and just... Because there's no longer water to block break our fall. And hopefully I torched it up enough and stuff isn't spawn oh. Other than the, the gosh darn slimes. Run away. Okay, good. Um we'll pick up our torches. And oh there's slime balls over there. Okay. So we have It's gonna make life interesting, isn't it? So we can place in ice like this. Do that. Do that. Break. Break. Yeah. Fortunately, it leaves a, a source, a, a non-flowing block at the back there. But you know, what are you gonna do? You can melt too. 
There we go. There we go, and this covers all the stuff. Okay, so let's see if I can get out with fireworks. I don't know if I'll be able to. I may have to do something else. Um, okay, I need to figure out how to get out of. Switch to Ender Pearls. Oh, okay. <laughs> I guess that works. So one of the weird things about glass is, ow, um, if you ender pearl into it, you can actually ender pearl into it, which is not exactly ideal, but I should be able to get out of here now, right? Come on, there we go. There we go. All right, so now we just need to see some slime spawning to check to make sure that this is working more closely to the way we want it. And how do we do that? I have found, it's the middle of the day, which I don't know what that impact that has, but I found if I walk over here towards the center of the pyramid and then walk back, this seems to despawn enough mobs over in that direction. And I'm presuming at this point caves and such that when I come back, there will be some slimes spawning. So let's see what we get. It's going to work. Yes, look at that. Big slime trying to swim against the current, and then he's going to swim into that cactus underneath that dude. Why is he not taking damage? Is there something in his way? You can do it. You can go underneath that little platform. There we go. Now that's going to break him down. Come on. Oh, he's being an obstinate little dude. There we go. And then he breaks into smaller slimes that seem to be disappearing. Okay, I think that's working. So there we go. Slime farm fixed. So here we are exiting the Pyramid of Giza. And look, I lit up a bunch of stuff, like a bunch of stuff. Let's see if I can get up over there before, to the other side before the sun comes up. Um, trying to figure out how to improve the efficiency of the slime farm, because it's not producing super awesome. And so I went and came out here and I lit up 128 blocks out that direction from the side of the pyramid, 128 blocks out from that side of the pyramid, I think. I think that's that shadow line is 20, and then I'm working over there now. So this is helping with the mob spawning right around, and I've been trying to light up caves. So let's let's go back inside and actually check out the farm itself. So this probably looks a little different. I glass in the top of the farm and oh, look at that. Slimes galore. Uh, I, I added a couple more levels. So I figured the efficiency thing about trying to keep the spawning thing to the lowest sub chunk in the world. Um, because I wasn't able to expose this to the sky. I think this isn't, uh, I, I think it's not really an issue. So look at that so th this is now this is now working so much more uh efficiently um i've got a full shulker box there slime balls and this thing is working it's working away it's doing its thing i'm losing drops because of the cactus but you know that's fine whatever uh and i'm finding like look i mean i've got yeah so this is kind of a halfway decent afk spot right here on top of the farm although doing a little bit of math i think it would work better if i could go up a little bit so right here i'm at like this is what sea level ish i'm standing i'm at 63 looking at 62 um i'm thinking if i could go up about 30 blocks 30 or 35 blocks it would be better because that would minimize any caves around here that I haven't got lit up. 
I'm good on the surface this direction and this direction <clears throat> and because the the pyramid itself is over 100 blocks wide uh, I'm, I think I'm good this direction too although I think it will um, the more I get lit up out there the better off things will be in here see and I, I don't have any more slimes but you saw there were slimes there there were a bunch of them so I find if I move off over this direction to about midpoint of the pyramid which is right over here boop and then I then I go back usually I find that there are some spawns down there so I've, I've gone up from seven layers up to ten. Oh, look, slime hopping across the top layer there. See, look at that. That's why I think if I can get up a little bit, it'll, it'll improve things quite a bit. Slimes there, slimes over there. So this is doing pretty good. Um, I, and again, I think finding the right AFK spot will be very helpful. Look at that. They're just bonking each other around and this guy is going to go down and start taking damage there very nice slime balls galore let's see how we're doing inside still a single shulker box let's see how full this one is 22 oh it's it's almost full if i had just been a little bit more patient it probably would have say i only need 58 more shulker uh, not sugar, um, slime balls there in order to fill this guy up. And there's going to be some of them here, right? Yeah, 33. Oh, goodness. Are we going to make it? Yeah, look at that. Okay, let's do this. We can actually watch it swap out and actually swap out the sugar box here. Don't get to see that very often under natural circumstances. And the shulker and the slime balls keep coming on up. So this isn't bad. Um, it's a pretty decent rate. And I don't need... Ah, oh, there we go. <laughs> okay, so that means we now have two complete, two full shulker boxes of slime balls. Which... Since it takes nine um, stacks of slime balls to make one stack of slime blocks, this is really six stacks of slime blocks. But, you know, hey, I don't need slime that much. Okay. So, yeah. And the rest of the layers here were... Oh, hey. Oh, look at that. Oh, my gosh. Standing right here, and they spawned. And we got to see it. So we, um, the rest of the layers are, are basically the same as the others. I'm going up to level 39 or whatever. Basically as far up as I can and still maintain uh, spawning because it's below layer 40. And uh, one thing I didn't mention, I think last time, is the torches. I did testing on this. The torches do not prevent the slimes from spawning. Um, and the big slimes can spawn on the torches. So that works out fine. I, I used to sort of take the approach of lighting from above to prevent any torches from interfering with the spawning, but they don't, so it doesn't matter. So this allows me in the space that we have to fit in like, you know, 10, 10 spawning layers, which is pretty good. Anyway, I think that's that's pretty much it. I've been focusing on other things lately i haven't been playing a whole lot on here i've been doing some some just sort of grindy stuff lighting up the area around the pyramid here i've been replacing the floor here all these sand and stone blocks with sandstone so it looks a little bit more even and i, I might go through and put some sea lanterns or some sort or, or glowstone maybe in the floor to do the lighting so i don't have these torches all over the place um, because although I didn't really intend for this to be sort of a base area, once I started putting in these, these farms, it kind of became a farm area, right? So 
Uh, yeah, let's see. There are a couple other changes. See, look, slimes. Slimes. Nice. Um, this, I think 1.13 will fix this in the sense that you won't get squid spawning in the water like this. And you won't get things like dolphins and whatnot. So here, I have to come here every now and then and pull out the shulker box there. See how that says 22 more? So this is a full shulker box, but it didn't get ejected because there's one frickin' ink sack in there. So I have to actually go clear out the ink sacks because if... Oh, and look, we got cactus just... This hopper is full, and we've got cactus floating above the hopper, and eventually they will despawn. So now they will load up. It'll load from the the hopper into the shulker box and uh, they'll they'll get picked up by the hopper here eventually yeah don't oh, no, they're just floating it'll do it this guy will get filled up and ejected and then these guys will be able to do that so oh there it goes uh, so the the squids I don't think will spawn in one high water as they do in here and so this will no longer be an effective squid farm but I don't really want it to be because I have a very effective squid farm here and this does still seem to work in 1.13 uh, one thing I have not done is test uh, test like the shulker box loader I hope it still works uh, and then I will have to make some adjustments to this item elevator top here as you saw in, in the witch farm uh, I will have to adjust the way it works but that's fine so I think that was it I think that's all I think that's all the new stuff um, yeah so there you go um, that's it for now this is uh, Theron it's been Minecraft land party and I will see you next time all right bye